Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus November 17, 2022. Today's minor challenging aspect between the Sun and Mars can point to competing interests and moods, mainly because a good part of you wants to socialize, and the other part wants to get back on track and organized. Do your best to be patient through disagreements and keep a professional attitude for best results. Some projects may be stalling, but you might also get a chance to rework projects that require fine-tuning. Fortunately, booster planets put you in a fantastic position to brainstorm, team up, collaborate, and share ideas and plans, perhaps making them better or simply enjoying the process. You're still in need of some time to sort things out, but optimism is with you. Your generosity and openness attract positive attention. You might discover ways to spiff up something from your past, and this can be a project or even a friendship. Today could fill you with so much euphoria that you feel like you're a firework ready to explode. Sweet Venus, the goddess planet of romance, will dance in your solar 11th house of friendships, online dating, and communities and link with glorious Jupiter, bringing good tunes, laughter, and opportunities for joyous times no matter where you go. This is especially true if you attend an event or step out on the town. If committed, be sure to attend a mixer and bring your significant other along. If single, this is a five-star day to spontaneously ask out someone who captivates you through your network or online dating. Who do you feel drawn to? Listen to your intuition when Venus in Scorpio trines Jupiter retrograde in Pisces. Considering your incredibly transformative greater professional community, you might have many empowering connections to lean on as you commit yourself to your aspirations. However, there might only be a few confidants or friends worth pursuing during this watery trine. Feel out who is worth working more closely with to see if you can expand upon your immediate professional community. But you will only know who is worth becoming closer to if you have deeper conversations. As the moon makes its monthly visit to your financial sector it finds itself in the wrong place at the right time today, but with no planetary activity on this side of the financial fence, this is going to get your attention. A clash with Saturn in your income sector might create some financial tension but a friendly aspect to planets in an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart is going to turn that into motivation. The planetary alignment today increases your energy, so be prepared. There is a lot of kinetic energy for you to process and it's recommended that you get plenty of exercise. If you feel too antsy at work to sit still, take a walk on your lunch break or take a quick trip to the gym. The food you eat will determine whether you are able to process this transit in a healthy way. This energy must not be internalized, so light foods are preferable. It's time to slow down and put a little energy into your family. Chances are you keep pretty busy with your work projects. And it may be true, more than you want to recognize, that you neglect the people who matter the most to you, especially your children, if you have any. With this vibration that's happening today, consider acting out of the ordinary, and do something that brings you all closer. Even an hour spent together talking over dinner can be a memorable experience. Make the most of the time you have. While the month-long wind-down of your old solar year doesn't even begin until early next week, Venus' return to a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart today not only begins the process but signals the early arrival of new planetary activity in your sign. The Sun can never return early, always returning just before Christmas each year. However Mercury, who doesn't even return to a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart until tomorrow will return to Capricorn in three weeks from today, a sense of both nostalgia and anticipation is set to grow. The moon's departure from your relationship sector yesterday has not only left you more emotionally engaged but just as there is some stunning support on the communication front. As a friendly aspect between Mercury, the planet of communication and Jupiter, in retrograde motion in your communication sector peaks the communication lines couldn't have any better support. However, it is still a case of use it or lose it. Our eyes in the sky. The proud and bold Leo moon forms a square to the sun, 
allowing us to be assertive in our relationships and making us flare up with passion and excitement. While this day allows you to talk things out and get your point across, remember to be extra conscious and receptive to other people's thoughts so this strong energy doesn't escalate into arguments. A relationship takes more than one person, so be open to hearing what others have to say if you also want them to listen to you. Demonstrate to others that you can be a fighter when you need to be. Don't let people walk all over you. If you let them do so now, they won't be afraid to do so again later on. Whether you are at work or not, be sure to stand up for yourself. Your drive is strong, and you are encouraged by the people around you. You are ready to take the next step and you aren't afraid of showing yourself off to the rest of the world. There is great power in this type of confident attitude. Embrace it. The moon shares a connection with the nodes of destiny, bringing to light past emotional baggage to help us heal. Now is the perfect time to do shadow work to understand how you react to challenging situations. It's perfectly fine if you feel the need to spend the rest of the day by yourself. Make self-care a priority. Take a bath in the evening to decompress, relax, and have greater peace of mind. After midnight, Venus in Scorpio creates a trine with Jupiter in Pisces, allowing us to give and receive love. This aspect improves relationship dynamics by helping us to open our hearts and gain a greater appreciation for the people in our lives. If we are currently partnered, we can more easily relax with our loved one, deepening intimacy in the process. If we are single, this is a time of luck in romance. We may meet someone special through friends of friends, our spiritual community, or while traveling. You aren't afraid to be upfront with others. This is a good thing. Tell it like it is and be assertive with your information. This kind of approach may upset them, but ultimately it is in their best interest and yours. Don't shy away from the truth. You are in a position of great power. Even if you were not at work, it would behoove you to think about work-related issues. Do some planning for the future. Seeds plated now will turn into a tremendous harvest that you will cash in on down the road. Keep work-related matters out of your head. Thinking about work will only end up making you angry and frustrated. If you have to be at work today, try not to make any waves. Avoid contact with others as much as possible. Arguments are likely. In the morning, the Leo moon trines Chiron in Aries, allowing us to express our vulnerable side without shame. Events transpire which cause us to give new context to old hurts. Rather than clinging to the past, we can forgive our inner child for lacking the emotional literacy to defend themselves against former bullies or aggressors. By accepting this wounded part of ourselves, we engender psychological healing. It may be that we come to this personal realization as we guide another through a similar issue as the one we once faced. 